In this video, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the best gun type defense in Madden 23. And if you want to get my entire $1.32 defensive ebook, we just updated it in the Patreon with the latest ways that you want to be blitzing out of dollar and also some of the best adjustments that I have found out of this formation. I believe that dollar has the capability to be the number one defense man 23. Um, there are some, some kinks and stuff with it, but if you can master your adjustments, you can be very, very effective with the defense because the pressure out of dollar is super, super high level. Now, um, if you, again, if you want to get the ebook links in the description, but let's take a look at this tight defense. This is, this is my favorite tight defense right now in the game. Super simple. Um, we're going to be utilizing the play spinner. Uh, you could do this out of zone, okay? You could do this out of zone, but we're going to use uh, utilize this play spinner. Now, from a coaching adjustments perspective, we are not setting any coaching adjustments. The only thing that I would recommend is that if you are on next gen, turn your zone coverage to match. I do think that that's helpful, but it's not necessary. It's not it's not necessary. It's not a necessity. You don't have to do that, but it is a helpful thing if you ever want to zone out players. Um, so spinner is the play. Now the setup. What we're going to do with this play is we are going to spread our defensive line. We're going to show blitz. What that does, if you look at this formation, show blitz will bring the safeties down in the box. Now, notice that our outside corners are misaligned. I'm going to get to how to handle that in just a second. But the setup is we're going to show blitz. We're going to QB contain. As you can see here on this side, it's going to give us that nice contain to this guy. And then we're going to crash our defensive line down. So we're going to be sending edge pressure on one side and loop pressure off the opposite side. In my opinion, that's the best way to play right now. Um, and then what we're going to do on this back side here is we can take this linebacker, really do whatever we want. If we want to send a five-man pressure, we can send a five-man pressure. I'm going to show you, though, something kind of neat. So what you're going to see is this is the base blitz. And then what I like to do is back off these outside cornerbacks. Um, it's going to make it super hard for them to pick it up. And it's also going to, I think, actually just play better coverage. But what you should see here is you're going to get edge pressure. And a lot of times, more times than not, you're going to get loop pressure uh, on that on that back side there. I'm going to set it up again a little quicker and we'll show it to you again. And you see there, you see I get them through the B gap. Now, one of the things that you can do to make this defense better, and the reason that I like this is because if they block a running back, um, like let's say they block a running back to try to pick up the pressure, that's not really going to help them pick this up. As you see right here, we're going to get really clean pressure off the left side. The other thing that you want to understand about a blocked running back is let's say that they are blocking their running back. What we're going to be able to do with this defense is we're going to go ahead and put that slot cornerback into a vertical hook over there on the right side. And then even if they block their running back, a lot of times this blitz is going to loop off of that back side of the formation. It sometimes does depend on the route combinations that your opponent uses because if he, it just kind of depends because of the alignment of this guy. You can just move him in just a step. If you just move him a step, the beauty of that is if they audible, he won't move, uh, which is really, really helpful uh, this year because of how much audible around there is. But we'll do something like this. And again, what you'll see here is we didn't get the pressure that time. It's not 100% consistent. But it is fairly, it's actually way more consistent than you might think. And again, what I like to recommend to people is you want to contain first and then you want to crash your line down. And what will, what will happen a lot of times when you do that is your loop pressure is going to be a little bit more consistent. But also in the case that you don't get loop pressure, you're going to be able to, um, you're going to be able to get pressure, uh, you know, just with basic sheds. Now I do like to move that guy uh, and here's why so like let's say they audible over to bunch now you're going to notice see how he doesn't move see how he doesn't move you're in the same basic defense all you've got to do now is just maybe fix some of your coverage adjustments right but you're in the same same basic defense that we were in um and now we're going to isolate that side and we're able to send that four-man pressure now you can always send the five-man pressure if you want to you can always send the five-man pressure and the five-man pressure is the most consistent to get pressure so let me give you an example of that so like let's say there you move that guy in and now they audible over here to bunch um, this is also going to apply if they audible to tight remember we want to show blitz but what we've done here is now in the bunch scenario you can just slide this cornerback in off the edge or what you can do is just crash your line down again 
And when you crash your line down again, that's going to also just kind of clean up the blitz angles for you and you're going to get better sheds even if you don't get the pressure a lot of times even against a blocked running back you're going to get that guy looping off the edge or you're going to get that right edge pressure so the beauty of this blitz is it's it's highly adaptable uh which you don't see in another i mean the, you don't see that a ton right now uh with the way people are having the blitz right now with just the way the game's playing but there you see there's that loop pressure and when that comes in it's just almost a guard it's almost unblockable the one thing about tight that's really interesting to me and this is something that I would recommend, uh, kind of a principle. But what you're going to be able to do with this is, let's say you run this blitz and they block a running back. If the loop blitz does come in, oftentimes, as you see right there, the running back will never block the looper. And this is a coding issue. It's not just if you send. And it's, the other thing that I wanted to address is it's not just if you send if the five man pressure. So if you send the four man pressure, you're going to see here that if the loop does loop, you will get the running back almost never blocks the defensive end. So you're going to get the best pressure in the game even if they even if they block the running back. So to me that makes this I think a, a defense worth tinkering with especially because it allows you some coverage flexibility uh just in terms of how people want to defend tight. You can do a lot. You can drop this defensive end and man coverage on the running back, drop this guy into a middle third. Like there's so much that you can do uh with this with this defense. And you see there, the running back just dumbs out against the against the looper. So this is one of my favorite defenses right now. If you want to learn the entire system for how to run this defense at a super high level, whether it be out of a man-based defense or a zone-based defense, we teach you everything in the Patreon. I just put a two-hour video updating everybody about how to blitz now with the post patch all the different tools and techniques we're going to be dropping a ton of new ebooks over the next couple of weeks so it's probably the best time to join the patreon of the year because we're going to pump out a ton of material and you get access to everything for just ten dollars if you want to become a member the link is down in the description so head down to the description and go check out the patreon